most of my work is actually not involved in the little projects that we do, the bee boxes and things like that. It's actually monitoring the estate's building sites. From the time that a new homeowner buys an earth and it starts getting developed, we actually look after it. <clears throat> As the environmental officer, I go on to each building site, generally twice a month, every two weeks, and I do an environmental audit. So I'm looking for things like, obviously, litter. Is litter being blown around or is it being properly contained? I'm looking for stuff like cement on the ground. Now, a lot of people forget our soils here are very acidic. Cement is an alkaline. So dropping cement or cement water on the ground actually changes the pH of the soil. That means when it comes to landscaping, if you want to plant, let's say, a protea, which is an acid-loving plant, and the pH has changed, that protea will die. I'm also looking for things like paint on the ground. Now, paint, a very important part of the building, is a plastic. It's a polyvinyl acetate, which means that paint on the ground will break up into microplastics, which are incredibly dangerous. We're only now learning how dangerous microplastics are to all living things. I'm looking for stuff <coughs> that will basically impact you in the future. Roof sheeting nails on the ground. You can imagine if they get buried, everything works to the surface. In five years time, the roofing nail could come through the lawn and somebody could stand on it, hopefully not a child. So as we're moving through these uh, audits. We're pulling up the builders, we're checking on things for you. If we find non-compliance, we do have an option of issuing fines to the con uh, contractor. But remembering that it is a building site, there will always be little things wrong. So very often just a verbal warning is needed. However, if we get continual non-compliances, that's when the fines kick in. Just as a matter of interest, those fines go to uh, basically finance our other projects. So environmental damage fines become environmental projects. So what I'm doing today is I'll go onto a building site, do the audit, check on it. Basically, uh, if I find stuff wrong, and I hope I never do, but it is a building site, so we'll uh, cover those. And we've got a classic case here of <coughs> cement on the ground. This I will report and it will get cleaned up. Now it's new, it happened today. The painters are obviously washing their brushes in the drum. Now that's great. What happens with the paint water, it should go off site and be disposed of um, properly. But the drum is almost full. It could overflow, leading to paint on the ground. So again, I'll point that out. Okay, a little bit of uh, litter behind the wall. Okay, nice to see the painters are using external drop sheets that limits the amount of paint that could land on the ground. Litter being nicely contained, very little chance of it blowing around, and cement being mixed on a board, not on the bare soil. So besides around the tap, this building site is fairly compliant. So I'll take that up with the site manager, and um, knowing the site manager, they'll sort it out immediately. The whole concept of Val de Vie is a quality life and that, as I say, starts as soon as you buy. So thanks very much for your time. If you enjoyed the video, very different from our normal ones, but give us a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, please feel free to ask.